Yeah. Um, actually, man, I don't hear myself, bro. You ain't got my mic up. Ah, uh, you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> specific <laughs> y'all got me y'all got me well we're always unprepared so yeah <laughs> well y'all get prepared and everybody out there get prepared go ahead let's keep it 100 if you mess with us like subscribe comment it don't cost you nothing we'll keep it real with you if you consider yourself friends do it if you don't I, not for them speaking for me i told you don't send me a like Friend request. Don't even put me in a group and ask me to like or join a group. I'm not buying no more Girl Scout cookies, candy <laughs> bars, nothing from nobody who don't like, subscribe, or comment. You heard? Even if you don't like what I just said, like, subscribe, or comment about it. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. <laughs> I'm telling them what God loves. <laughs> now, I'm going to touch some feelings because, like y'all said, we off the cuff, but I told you someone's on my mind, this relationship thing. I left here. Last week, and I, I ain't gonna kid y'all, I got kind of emotional. I got touched by David. So, this is really about Derek. you. I said, I oh, want well, to keep calling him David. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was wondering who you, I thought you were talking about somebody else. See, that's what happened. I don't even drink or smoke. <laughs> you get old, old and your memory get gone. But this, real talk, this is what happened. Yeah. We was, t- you know, me and Mike had a discussion when I left. He was talking about you. During the course of the week, somebody, a friend of mine, asked me about relationship advice. I start laughing. Ladies and gentlemen, don't ask me about relationship advice. I'm divorced. I'm dating a young lady now, very seriously, but I'm not married. Talk to Mr. Hunt, because he's been married a very long time, happily. That's the person you talk to. You don't talk to nobody like me. Mr. West <laughs> is remarried. This is what got me, because this is real. Mike, was, when you went to go eat your lunch that your wife had prepared, made for you, we're going to talk regularly, but made for you. Yeah. Man, I felt like Boo Boo the Fool. Because I'm sitting there, and it, it made me think, it was like, man, there's a difference between having a real wife and somebody you taking care of. And for all you ladies, get mad, mama, this is the real talk. My first wife, like your first wife, you know, we was married. We did the man thing, like we supposed to. We take care of home. But then you get to a point where you, you giving and giving and giving. You going to work, you coming to the door. But dang, it's like stress walking at the door. Because what do you get? When you said your, your, your new wife prepared your lunch, I'm going, even though she worked, she made that man lunch. That man, that's out of love. Mm-hmm. You love and respect her enough where you stop what you was doing. Hey, y'all, I got to go eat. I'm going to go eat lunch. And in my mind, I'm going... Wait, he finna go get something to eat? And Mike said, no, his wife made him lunch. She make him lunch every day. <laughs> I'm like, what? And it made me feel like, I'm like, damn. I can't think of the last time somebody made me lunch, dinner, what the hell. He bought me a snack. But the fact that you stopped to do what you was doing, to go eat a lunch that your wife made for you, that meant a lot. Because yeah. I'm sitting here thinking, she loved him enough even though she worked to make him lunch. He respect and love her enough. He's stopping what he's doing to eat the lunch that she made so it don't go to waste. And in the meantime, neither one of them are thinking about the fact that they saving money because she making lunch. He eating mm-hmm. that lunch. But they doing it out of love. You want to get real relationship advice? Talk to Mr. Hunt because he's been married the longest. You want to know how it's supposed to be. And I'm telling you, this even go out for my baby. You know, I'm crazy about you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> We, nobody ever really thinks about their role in a relationship, in a marriage, or whatever. Yeah. 
because nowadays women are made to feel like if they're doing what they're supposed to do or or they are catering to their man, as they say, that that's being a slave and not being a woman. You know, you, okay, no, it means that you helping, you you making sure your husband happy. He making sure you happy. Mm-hmm. I, me and you discussed this mm-hmm. earlier. I don't like happy wife, happy life. That's a lie. You said the real happy spouse, mm-hmm. happy house. Mm-hmm. Mm. And 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 Mike, you know, and I'm gonna tell y'all. That's y'all need to podcast. definitely. That's what we're gonna name it. Y'all there need. Everybody need to like, comment, and check out what these dudes with this right here. And this is my opinion. So y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Or you can tell. You know, I in my mind I ain't wrong, but y'all can give you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, relationships though, man. Like you keep saying, yeah, I've been married. Forever, it feels like. <laughs> but it ain't always been easy. It ain't always been happy. It ain't always been joyful. I mean, I've been in them same situations where you feel like you don't want to come home. You know, but you was committed. But I was like, man, this is my house. <laughs> you know. And I, and y- y'all, he's not just saying this. And she I- and you know, my wife might have been like, man, I hope this dude go back to work. <laughs> oh, I just seen it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but there comes a point where it's like you know, you gotta why 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 am I not happy? And is it because she's unhappy, or is she unhappy because I'm not happy? You know, we always point. Oh, I don't. I left because my wife made me feel like I wasn't nothing. Well, maybe you made her feel like she wasn't nothing. You got to look yourself in the mirror, you know. Why y'all two arguing? Y'all supposed to be a team, the main team. Even when it comes to kids and and finances and this and that, y'all's a team. Y'all lit the same candle together and became one, right? Woo! So it ain't just the woman, even though most time it is. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, sometimes you got to look at yourself. You're supposed to be – you're supposed to protect and provide – well, you ain't providing her with what she needs. That's why she's unhappy. You ain't protecting her the way she wants to be protected. And hey, let me ask you something, both of y'all. Because I keep, I tell people, protecting and providing ain't always about money or making sure can't nobody break in the house. To me, protecting and providing is about, pro- provide might be a ear. Yeah. A sounding board. Just because she feel like, mm-hmm. you know, you, that's I'm providing you a safe space. Yeah. I'm protecting your emotional well-being as well as everything else, you know. But, see, what you just said is commitment because that love feeling, that can go away. Mm -hmm. Are you committed to being – because I don't watch. You know, I've been around when it's been good and when it's been bad with you guys. Yeah. But the one thing I know is y'all was committed. Even when you was mad, me and Michael spent plenty of nights down here just (laughs) Mm. (laughs) shooting the shit. Excuse me. (laughs) But, it's all good. <laughs> but, but for real, see, my thing is, I don't see commitment in people no more. You know what I mean? Like, when it's good, it's good. But they forget about, you said, do healthness, you know, good, bad, sickness, health, all that. It's like, oh, as long as we got this part of it, we straight. But the second it go bad, everybody get messed up. And shout out to my boy that worked with me, Sean Phillips. You know, you all right. You need to be listening to this more than anybody else on <laughs> the planet. My girl Michelle, I hope you're listening, cause honestly, this this is probably my, ain't no problem. This is my future wife. But people, like, I'm a direct person. She'll tell you I'm direct. First thing I'm on, I mean, like I told her, you know, lo- loyalty and respect me more than anything to me, mm-hmm. and commitment. Should we have con- I have conversations about finances, cause see, we got to be on the same. That's mm-hmm. the biggest thing I see people fight about. I don't care how bad off you all I am. If we together and we got a plan to get through it, that's what counts. And we got to be committed to that. Mm-hmm. That's one of the reasons I stay single. Man, I got a good one on that finance thing. Uh, I, was, I think I might have said this before. But uh, it don't matter how much you make to be financially stable. You know, you can make $200,000 a year, but if your bills – <laughs> or more than what you make. Yeah. Guess what? You're gonna be broke. And if I make thirty thousand dollars a year 
And my bills are more than what I make. We both broke. It don't mean you might more money might come through you than it does me. But we still both broke. And that's it. But you know how many people married and men just let their money go in the house and the money they make take care of the house. The woman might work, but she feel like her money, her money. And, yeah. I, and I see that, and I'm going, man, y'all crazy. Ain't no way, because if I don't care if I'm if I'm making thirty six thousand, you making thirty six thousand. I'm saying bring home, that's seventy two. Seventy two is over five grand a month. Actually, it's more like six grand a month. If we can't survive off that, then we got to reevaluate how we live in life. Because mm-hmm. like, we don't need a bigger car, bigger houses. It's just us. We should be able to do what we want to do. Within reason. But see, I'm going I'm to stop you right there. Take this one out. So you say you don't need the bigger house, you know, in the, in the bigger car because it's just us, right? Yeah. But in the process, I mean, well, you're, you're a little older. This, this is going to go out for the younger people. You know, when you're younger, you start in a family. That family should grow. Oh, yeah. You should have kids. You should have grandkids. You should have, you know, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, whatever, right? Right. So it needs to get bigger. And what you else? know what I'm saying? See, I, I don't know. I see that. that I mean, I get what you're saying, but, it's, you know, coming back to the my money, your money, it gets into the selfish people being more about themselves when it ain't about you anymore. It's about the relationship. It's about the home. Right. It's about, you know, this and that. So See, I just feel like everybody in my house is me. Yeah. We're together. I mean, but right now you're single. You live by yourself. Kids is older, off and college, that, got kids of their own, everything else, right? But even when I was married. But that protect, protect and provide, you know, might be turning into more of a shelter as you get older. It does. Your kids should be able to always come home. Ah, and that's what You know thing. what I'm saying? They should I'm, always be able to come home. Have Your a grandkids room should always be able to come home. I'm gonna have a room for everybody to come stay. But you but know, I'm not gonna take care of no grown people. Yeah, that's, that is true. Because there's always a place to stay. If I raised you, I raised my kids the right way. You're gonna be able to take care of yourself. Now, everybody might fall on hard times. And that room, that door's gonna be open. But this is the but. If I allow you to stay with no kind of end in sight. How motivated are you to be better as a person and get your own? Yeah, there is that too. Because at at some point, it's me and your mama, or me, you know, me and my lady. We're going to always say the door is open for our children, our grandchildren. Mm-hmm. But is your door always open to your parents? Well, you know, my parents are gone. Yeah. If my parents were alive, yeah. Because remember when my mom was sick, mm-hmm. we that was our main focus. I don't know how some people. Well, it's like when you when you stayed here, who else stayed here? Oh, Don, you're yeah. right. Me and me and Don used to chop it yeah. up. That's my and God, Don, Don my, was my father. He's passed now, but, you know, he stayed with us a lot of the time. Yeah, he that. always chipped in. He was always here to watch the kids if we needed to watch the kids. But that's the thing. He might be a little <laughs> dirty or messier than I like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, you know, but it was, you know. All right, man, Don, my dude. Hey. But he, take- we battled, we battled a lot where it was, you know, I'm the dad. But then you sometimes got to sit back and go, well, I done messed up <laughs> a couple of times. I'm in this situation. Let me play my position and be papa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then once we got to that relationship, hey, listen to your dad, but that was papa. Papa still going to let you kind of do whatever. But yeah. when the king come home. <laughs> You're the king of the castle. We got, we got to, if we evaluate. But this is here for everybody to do whatever they want to. Yeah. Why well, ain't here? But I, but <laughs> that I don't know about. <laughs> yeah. Boy, you're sick. Now I do got a question for you. Mm. How did you know she was the one? Because I'm, I, you know, everybody got different things I know about you. Mm-hmm. But I it, just what happened last week with the sandwich thing. Y'all, y'all mm-hmm. think I'm crazy, but this this really got me like I'm going. Wow, and I just got to know, how did you know she was the one? <clears throat> well, for me, it was real easy because it was multiple things, but one of the main things was that 
she uh, respected the fact that I wanted to, like, uh, do things that I wanted to do, uh, like, with music. Mm-hmm. And that I wasn't I wasn't willing to compromise on it. You know what I mean? And I just let her know, like, uh, up front. You know, like not, like, in a rude way, like. But you were just uh, honest about your, what you wanted to do in life. Right, 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 right. And, uh. And she was, you know, she was the same way. And she, uh, even till, you know, right now, she, you know, she pushes me to do more than I push myself, you know. So y'all had a, y'all had a real discussion and made real plans. Oh, yeah, about everything. You know what I mean? Like, the whole time, like, we just, uh, you know, as soon as we were hitting off, we knew we liked each other. We got along. We had things. We both been through things. You know what I mean? So we could relate on those things. You know, that's always great. And then, and of course, you know, conversations, laughs, all of that. But along the way, we knew those things. So we uh, we know that stuff kind of can fade sometimes. That feeling like you talk about love, that can come yeah. and go. So we talked about things like immediately, like this is what we're looking for, you know, team. Working towards you know the future, things like that. Right. You know what I mean, and that's why I, that's how I knew I was like, this is it. Plus the fact that she was legit when she didn't just say the music was cool, she meant it, and I can tell she means mm-hmm. it. Her actions reinforced. Her right, actions. exactly. And my wife likes her, so that always helps. Yeah. Oh yeah, we yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, oh, she, she's an amazing person, regardless. <laughs> but that was just one of the main things for me personally that was like. Definitely, you know what I mean. And and I'm gonna say this because mine is probably gonna she ain't no problem. She's gonna be watching. You might well mm-hmm. look at Mister Hunt because this is my brother from another mother. Period. And you meet him and Becca. Woo. Okay, mm-hmm. that's one of the litmus tests. <laughs> we, we had no. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm no, a, I feel you. Me, me, we we had we had those discussions, but I, see, and it's different for me than it is for y'all, even for younger people. And the younger people, the quicker you figure out who you are, what kind of a a spouse you want, the better off it is because the better the quicker you figure that out and you can you can build with that person, the better off. I think the problem is a lot of people don't want to hurt the other people's feelings. And so it's like it's better to go ahead and do that. You know what I mean? Just do it up front. That way you know now. Like why be somewhere in something and waste when, time. Yeah, and you waste all the time, both of y'all's times too. You know what I mean? Well and a friend of mine, Chandra Aldridge told me this, and I, I stick. I, and this is why I've been single so long. Everybody got a representative when they first meet. Mm-hmm. See, I'm so direct. Now, at this age, I don't. I got more time behind me than in front of me, so I'm not gonna play games with somebody. Either I don't date for girlfriends. I'm too old for that. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 at a stage where it's either marriage or you just there, and I, and you know that's that's what it's all. That's what it's been for the longest. But we got to have a one-year plan, a three-year plan, a five-year plan, and we got to really discuss it and work it. If we ain't doing that, then we, like I said, I don't. I get straight to it on the, on the first or second day. We ain't got time to, to play games. And it don't mm-hmm. take – look at it like this. The first 30 days you meet somebody that's new and exciting. The next 30 days you kind of settle in. You see their pattern mm-hmm. or their routine. 90 days in, ain't no more hiding and the representative gone. You wasted three months trying to figure out if this is somebody you can deal with. And if you don't waste it three months, here's what happens. You you formulate a routine. It's hard to break the routine. Mm-hmm. And you don't waste it three months of the year. Well, here's the kicker. You're going to waste another 30 days back and forth if you don't want to be with the person. Or you, y'all going to, the feelings and the routine is all normal. Well, then you factor in holidays and all that. You know, you can waste a year with somebody that don't mean nothing. And I, you know, even at young people, you don't get that year. But that doesn't, look, that doesn't do nothing but hurt yourself. Exactly. And you don't waste it a year well, of your life. Well, this is why back. they say the truth shall set you free. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're just honest, then you can skip all of that. You know what I mean? And get straight to it. And waste the least amount of time. And then that's in that's relationships and in anything. Mm-hmm. And the problem with being older dating is this. Whether it's male or female, everybody done been through stuff. So now you hold this person you're seeing accountable for the for the last person, the things you've been through. Mm. And like for me, me, me and I don't had this discussion. I, I don't want to be accountable for whatever you've been through or whoever else. Right. And I'm not gonna hold you accountable for whatever I've been through with somebody else. Right. 
But honestly, we see the red flags and we start going, oh, mm. oh man. Yeah, I like red flags. I'm like, oh, look, it's a carnival. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready to ride rides. This boy, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But for me, at this age, I go, if I see a red flag, I say something. Right. And then and I let him know, this bothers me and this is why. Now, if, if you see, see a red flag, you do that to me. And if you let me know, see, I can correct that behavior or let you know why that behavior is happening. Right. But- I'm not, but if I see the red flag, same red flag popping up, 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 I'm not dealing with it. I'm it's, gone. Yeah, it's better to have the conversation anyway, man. Educate yourself. Don't Ed- sit there and quiet and try to guess that, oh, I seen a red flag. Oh, and make your own assumptions too. Like, just say it out loud. Let's, you know. Mm-hmm. Let- but people think directness, especially nowadays, when you say something, everybody get upset and they feel like. I respect you more when you tell me we got a problem as opposed to just, uh-huh. Right. <laughs> and then not only that, if you do that, it's like, say I had a problem with something you was doing right, and then I don't say nothing. But now I'm living with that problem all the time. You and know what I'm saying? Th- and I ain't even thinking about it. And the then problem. I'm getting, yeah, you ain't even thinking about it, and I'm getting more irritated every day. You know, it's like, nah, man, just talk about it. And it creates a friction with me and you every time we see each other. And then, like, we might have other things that are great, but we have this one problem, and that starts leaking into everything else. You know, like, just. It's like with women. And a lot of women going to get mad when I say this, but this is the God honest truth. Today's dating place. I. I'm a realist. So I ask a woman, are you a modern woman or a traditional woman? Because if you, modern women are going to tell you how strong, independent, they don't need a man. Okay, I'm you fine a, a with that. the third one on there. Are you a natural woman? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I'm going to leave that alone because it don't even exist. <laughs> but, but when I say modern and traditional, if you tell me you're a modern woman and you come to me with this, I'm a strong, independent woman, educated, I don't need a man. Cool. See, right there, you already told me we're not really going to be together. Because guess what? The second you say you don't need a man, then what are you with me? Why are you even dating me? Two, it's cool that you're strong, but independent means you can do things by yourself. And we as men know if a woman say that to me, I don't look at that as a plus. Now, if you tell me you're a traditional woman, I respect that because a woman's strength is in her femininity to me. That means it's cool that you can be a boss at work, but at home, my friend Joe Campbell, his wife, is an attorney, right? She still make breakfast and dinner, you know, lunch. Not all the time, but she does it. Right. Joe's still the man of the house. You know, but Joe. You talking was, about Harry Potter's dad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Little Harry yeah. Potter, shout out yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah. but, but this is one of the strongest women I know because she's a prominent attorney. But when she home, she's a wife. And guess what? They, they, they dynamic is so strong. I mean, I'm, I look at them kind of like when I look at you and I go, man. Because it's not about who's in charge. I, as a man, you're responsible for the head of your house. But you always respect. And you're going to lean on your woman because this thing she knows mm-hmm. and that she's smarter than you are. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make her less because you're the leader of the house. Right. It just means you're going to be the one who's responsible for the outcome of what happens. There you go. But you equal to me. Whenever you, I might sit here and go, I want to, we, you know, we need to do this because I don't believe in I, me. Mean, we need to do this. But her perspective could be, no, nah, babe, that's not what it is. I'm like, I'm going, I'm taking that into account. Right. Because guess what? When you sit down and look at it, because we logical, and she right, okay, babe, we're going to do it like that. Right. It don't mean she run the house or I run the house. It just means she was right in that and, instant. And it means we're making smart decisions for us. You and, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I told my girl, I don't do us. I and me. I do we and us. Yeah. Because if I'm in a relationship and I'm hearing I and me, I can stay single. But everybody now, especially women with social media, because they can get the likes, the follows, and they feel important. They think, I, well, I, that's cool because I got this going on. Okay, cool. Then you can do that by yourself. But I'm telling everybody who watching, and I'm saying it as an older, this is real, as an older person. You can sit here and, and lie to yourself all you want. But at the end of the day, don't nobody want to be alone and die alone. Right. And you don't want to be 60, 70 in that nursing home or sitting on that porch in that assistant living by yourself. Mm-mm. And if you don't think about that, you can sit here and think, even with dudes, you can think you're a player. Yeah, guess what? 
But who helping you change your drawers, pick out your clothes, or pushing you around at 60, 70, 80 years old? Mm-hmm. You can think you want to wheel around on your own. No, that's a lie. It's the companionship. I was going to say, man, the companionship, man. Like, if you think that it, like, you're not going to want that or something, man, you're wrong. It's, it's, man, it, it I means just don't something. even know what to tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or think about when even these people, a lot of people get divorced and they do these three to five year marriages. Or, or with kids, your children. Like you said, kids going to get grown. The kids to get, get to 10. When they get when they get out the house and it's you and her, you know what I mean. That's mm-hmm. a different kind of feeling, bro. Mm-hmm. And and you can say what you want if you, when if you split with somebody and you've been with them, it changes your perspective on everything. Because you, you, the older you get, the, the more intense it gets. It goes, man, I ain't got time to play games with people. You know, if I'm gonna be with somebody, I'm gonna be with them. But if I'm not, you know, I'm not wasting time. Right. And resources. Like the girl, I had a woman tell me one time, I'm strong and dependent that. So we on, at dinner, she giving me this conversation. Guess what I did? I told her, wait, when he brought the check. <laughs> he said, one or two. No, it's two checks. She looked at me like I was crazy. No, baby girl, remember, you independent, you strong, you don't need a man. Why would I pay for, for your dinner as well as mine when you can handle your own number, you, you can take care of yourself? Oh, that's not being gentlemanly. Well, you're not being womanly. I mean, first of all, you asked me to How go out. How is she not being womanly, though? Well, you asked me to go out in the first place. So if I ask you to, if I ask you to do something, I got that. Especially if you're talking all this strong independent stuff, that means you got that. I should love my wallet at home because you're a modern woman. I get what you're saying. He's but, saying like this when you said. I mean, like I know that. what he's saying. But. Well, I mean, she didn't have to come at him like saying, oh, look, I'm strong, independent. I do all this and that. Mm-hmm. Like you, you know, like let, him, do- let him just be the man. Yeah. Yeah. Like you doing me a and favor. Then, you know, like she yeah. doing me a some, favor because we out on some, this date. Some people put their guard up. That's yes. true. Hold on. But why was you there in the first place? Watch this. I thought she was attractive. She was a smart person. I wanted to get to know her. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? The more of her as a person I got to know. Well, let me say this. Than- let me say this. Just because the way somebody else acts, you shouldn't change how you should act. Oh, watch this. You're right. But I didn't. Because if she'd have told me the strong independent woman conversation over the phones, guess what? She'd have got a strong independent. All right, Dan, well, just so you know, you asked me to go out to dinner, and I said, yes, since you're a strong independent woman, I'm expecting you to be that. Yeah. See, I, I trust everybody to be who they are. Mm-hmm. I don't have enough energy to to dislike somebody. I used to, but I don't now. All I got to do is judge, go like this. You show me who you are and I believe you. So that's how I deal with you accordingly. So if you show me, if you show me you're that person, that's who you are. I'm going to deal with you like that. But don't be mad because I'm dealing with who you showed me or told me you are. But what? But when a woman says that, that doesn't necessarily make them a bad person. No, it just right. makes you somebody that I don't want to spend my time. My, I don't want to. That just makes you a woman that I'm not attracted to. Mm. Doesn't mean you're bad. It just means that. But why? Why are you not attracted to somebody who is going to be able to hold their own? I'm, it has. Guess what? A feminine woman can hold her own, but a woman who directly tells me she does not need a man because she's strong, independent, and all of that—that's a turnoff. Well, Why you. would you tell somebody you don't need them? I mean, but is that that just that for you? Just you personally, that's, that turns you off. I think that's most men. If a woman tells you I don't need a man, I wouldn't say most men. Take a poll, huh, fellas? I, I, everybody I, I, out yeah. there, comment on that. Men and women, men, be honest with yourselves. If a woman tells you she don't need you, how likely are you going to be with that woman? We all want to feel needed, because mm-hmm. if that's the case. Going to work every day, just paying the bills, it's fine. She don't need me no way. Mm-hmm. I ain't I, gonna, it ain't gonna bother me. See, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be play devil's advocate because I I don't necessarily agree with that. For one, I like you know this. you don't want you don't want the woman to need you, right? Hold on, I may not want you to need me. You want the, you, do, you, do, you, you want, want a woman you want, telling you she don't need you? I mean, I, f- I, I don't I care if she needs me or not. I want her to be here. 
I want her to want me. I want her to ah, to see? make see, right? You just said okay. you want her to want you. Right? I want her to be I want her to be here. If she doesn't want to be here, bye, right? But how of you gonna get to that point? Well, see, you stopping it up. You stopping it at that point about the need. People are always needing this. I need to do that. People need this from me. It ain't about that. Hold on. She wants to be here. So if you're a strong man, she's going to want to be by your side. Oh. You know what it takes to be by your side. But And it's also, there's the, the motivation part, right? That don't motivate She, me. Jenny wants to be with Derek. She also wants him to be happy, so... You like music? Do your music, baby. Right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's kind of sounding kind of kind of weird for me. Saying <laughs> nah, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do your yeah, thing. You just kind of vibe. You know, but I'm just just prove my point. Some men feel intimidated by that. See, I don't because the that woman does. I don't find I don't it need intimidating. I just find it you, off-putting. Okay, it's the same difference. Of I'll show you what I mean. When a woman says she's strong, independent, educated, she don't need a man. Mm -hmm. As a man, do you feel intimidated? Do you feel intimidated because? No, no I don't. Because you're not educated and not in. Oh, you, no, you mean as you educated, need her? Maybe. Do you need her? No, of course not. But do you want her? That's the difference. I, but I would never tell her I don't need her right out the gate. I would say. You, you want her to be honest with you, though? Hold on. <laughs> right? Does anybody really need anybody mm -hmm. at the end of the day? Yeah. Who? They do. People do. It's, no. The Does the re the people need people. One reason, the main point, the Bible. Huh. God made Adam. He said, dude, looks alone. Let's make him a woman. Okay. A companion. See, now he going, right? See, he doing, let's he doing throw what it, women let's do. Throw, I like let's this. Let's throw it in there, right? I, I like, he doing what women do right now. I'm finna kill him with this. So you mad at a woman because she don't need a man, but you don't need a woman. Oh. Uh, Sounds like that's why you're single, bro. No, no, that's why you're wrong. See, you're using the God phrase. And I'm finna get I you mean, right I'm now. just saying. You Is said it, nobody God needs God nobody women. right there. How many Genesis women did God alone? make as opposed to men? Because if you're going to use the Bible, I'm gonna hurt. he's going to hurt what I'm going to say now. Because if you're going to go, if you really going to go by the Bible, then that means I can have five, six, seven, eight wives. Every last one of them to fulfill a different need, right? Mm -hmm. And which testament, though? No, see, here's the thing. You can't pick and choose which testament you want to go by. The original Bible is what it is. The original Bible? The Bible is the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. Now, just because if I rewrite the Bible right now and I give and I make a mm -hmm. new testament, which one you gonna go by? Sounds like you're not gonna make Eve, so it's just gonna be. No, that's where you're wrong. I'm gonna make Eve if I make a a, a new I, if I make a new are testament. Are you still man? She ate the fruit. Man, here he go. Uh -huh. I, watch this. If, he's still if, man. She ate the fruit. I don't care about him eating the fruit. <laughs> but here's the thing: if I write a Bible, if I write a new testament, I am. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if I write a test a new testament, write me as a person like King James did, and I say, well, this is what I'm putting in my testament, which means mm. that yeah, I'm making Adam and Adam and Eve. But here's the kicker. Eve's sole purpose is to do this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. Does that make my testament right? Or do I go by the testament that you have? See, it's all a matter of perspective. I don't have a problem with a strong woman. As a matter of fact, I need a strong woman. But here's what I what I won't do. I'm never going to look at this woman in front of me and say, I don't need you. Because but you want because be that's honest? not my thought process. My thought process is... is this, so you this, don't lie to him. No, 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 no. Just listen. My thought process is, I want you. I want to be with you. I want to build a life with you. Can we do that? Now, if I tell you, look, I don't need you, but I want you here. You're not going to, I don't care who you, you ain't going to be receptive to what you heard. That I want you here. You're going to be receptive to, I didn't need you. Because if, if I, if I say I don't need you, what? I mean, then what's the point of you being there? If I don't need, I want you here because you have the qualities as a woman that I see, that I love, that I want to build a life with, as opposed to, guess what? I don't need you, but I want you. And guess what? That means as soon as my want for you is no longer good, I can find something else. I Case in point, Donald Trump, he switched wives every 15 years mm -hmm. because he get a new model, because he want a new model. And he don't need a new model. He want a new model. The if I want you as opposed to needing you, and I really this is the person I love, my commit I'm a different type of breed. Because when I'm when I'm in a relationship, that person comes first. Period. That means if I'm if I got plans with my girl and Micah call me, I don't have a problem with saying, Micah, me and my girl got plans today. Now if it ain't life or death, I'm not changing my plans because my woman come first. Not because I need to, because I want to, because I want to see that woman happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But I got to know that that woman want to see me just as happy. Because if I want her happy, she want me happy. We going to be happy. Yeah. But if I need her to survive, or she need me to survive, and I... And I'm saying it. See, I don't let the word, certain things I don't let slip into my vocabulary or psyche. Because if I feel like I need you, then I be, that means I'm dependent on you. I'm not dependent on, on anybody. Yeah, so why are you going to be mad at somebody who ain't dependent on you? I'm not mad about it. I'm saying it's a way to say everything. But mm-hmm. if you come right out there. It's the same thing whether you say it or not. You no, believe it. No, 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 no. Because, yeah, see, watch yeah, this. What you ain't is. heard of the angry woman syndrome. You don't need a woman. Hold on. I don't. I got five fingers in the wrist. I can, I'm cool. See? Guess what? what Is that the only, if that's what you think they're only good for, then no. yeah, that's probably why you're single. I was saying that as a joke. He's, <laughs> see, I'm, just, I'm just saying. He's trying though. to gas y'all up. He, he know. He no, know and just, I know. We're bringing it all out. He ain't been in a date yeah, market. Yeah. He ain't been in a date market in over two decades, so he he don't get it. You know what? It's a good thing. Y'all should listen. <laughs> oh, stop that, because, boy, you know we can. I ain't, uh-huh. We going to leave that part alone. But here's the thing. I think so, I, Somebody I, telling you, Aggressively, that they don't need. It's a way to say everything. If you say, so it's the way they said it. So if you, they feel that way, but they said it. No, 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 no. You can feel that way, but guess what? If I come to you, if I come to you and say, "Hey, man, um, you know what? Hey, I need you to pick me up uh, tomorrow at five. Can you do that for me?" Mm-hmm. How you feel about it? I said it that way, right? If I come to you and say, "Hey, man, I want you to pick me up tomorrow at five o'clock." Well, uh, maybe. Thank you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. But guess what? They both mean the same thing to some degree. It's how I expressed it to you. Now, if you saw my, if I look at your reaction, I go, hey, man, I, I need you to do that for me. I'm asking you. I need you to do this for me. You was more receptive to that. But when I came at you and said, I won't, it felt different. Now, what if it, t- now I'm going to flip the script. Watch this. Micah. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, uh, I want you to pick me up tomorrow if you can at five. Is that all right? Yeah. Now, it's, Mike, I need you to pick me up at five o'clock. All right. Man, he playing. He playing. Cause he, you know, he, he gonna say all right. But I, look at the look on his face. See, you my friend though, right? But you we, my brother. See, we know each other. So you go. Yeah, you but can. no, you gotta look at it the other person's way. But what if you that, just see, meet what, this person? See, uh, also too. Do you need me to pick you up? No, nah, you can get somebody else. You just asked Derek a second ago. Right? Yeah, you're right. So, do I want to be with you? I'm going to be there. All I right? need you to pick me up, though. Huh? I want Derek to pick me up, but I need you to pick me up. Yeah. It's up to the person. Do I want to go pick you up? Exactly. So, right? so, so, they so you that, have a right to decide. So, so no, let's but get, I, but, let's but get, I get what point. he's saying, though, what with saying. the woman, because it's like it makes you feel like she's basically being like, well, look, that, well, I, this a, is cool. This relationship yeah. is cool. But when I am get done, or she's not even really saying that, but she could be like, it makes you feel like she's like, uh, you know, at any given moment, I can be like, well, you know, whatever, you're done. You're out of yeah. here. I'm with this guy now. Well, it, this is what, like, this is what I'm trying to, to get a point to you. How long, put it like this, so when you and, I mean, I'll say it name, when you and Holly broke up, right? Yeah. How long has that been? God, 10 years, minimum 10, 11 years, thank God, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> Go ahead. so you want another relationship, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody want to be with somebody else. All right, right. So you think maybe, not necessarily you need to change who you are, but I you need to look one. at things a little little differently. I did, but I had one since then. You know that. Yeah. But space and time got that one, and you know, and that's just the realest. Yeah. But, no, nah, here's the thing. I did change my, my, my way of thinking, and that's why I am like I am, because guess what? You know what I know. I, dated, I dedicated everything yeah. to my first – I, I went by that notion that a man's supposed to work, take it. I don't even look, you know, I didn't even look at money or nothing. Guess what? As long as everybody got what they want, they're taken care of. And every day was, what do you, and what does everybody else need but me? Here's the funny thing. Now, you can't answer this because I know better. Mm-hmm. But for most men, when was the last time so your kids, your wife, or somebody just told you they loved you a, a call to see how you were doing, how you felt? That's that's every any man. I'm not asking you because I know your kids and I know, it, and it's an anomaly. I'm not saying everybody, but for the mm-hmm. majority, nobody worries about how a man feels. Father's Day. Most men will tell you they get the same thing. 
Draws, socks, shirt, tie, underwear. You can't answer this because I know better and I'm keeping you out of this conversation. You are you are the anomaly, the matrix. <laughs> but for 99% of men, Father's Day is an afterthought. You get a few hours and they plan it for you. And that's it. But let Mother's Day come around. You better have it all. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Men don't speak out about this enough. Cause you're a man. Be, I love my. I love my. You I love. Me, I love you my. Want me to buy you some flowers, bro? Man, you sick. You gonna buy me some Wait, though? Uh-huh. Yeah, you can buy me some. I'll but bring you some but when was the last time? I just put like this. The energy now. I look at a relationship different. Well, well, look at Mother's Day and Father's Day. Oh, right goodness. now, look at it. How's Mother's Day? Flowers, card, nice. Go out to eat, whatever. Right. Same as Valentine's. Go ahead. <laughs> well, sometimes <laughs> the kids are there. But they got here, Father's man. Day, Father's Day, what what do you do? Take the day to yourself. No, uh, work, whatever they decide that you're gonna do, whatever, right. decide, whatever they decide you're gonna eat. But I'm saying what it should be is how I feel like you should take the day to yourself, like mm-hmm. leave, go do whatever you want to do. Pamper right. me like I pamper you. Mm-hmm. You want to go hang out with the boys? It's Father's Day. Let's go do some. <laughs> let's go do some I go play stuff, golf, right? Uh-huh. You no, know, why ain't why ain't why ain't the wife? Why ain't the mother? Out with the girls getting their feet done or whatever. What you mean for, for Father's Day? For Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Uh, ten to one, I can say my ex wife can't say nothing because she did. Matter of fact, she got twelve months of Christmas where you got a whole day at the spa. Forget well, about I, it. I think the reason is because it's different. I think women are more like they they like that more. Like you come to a woman and say, "Oh, here's these pretty flowers, and we care about you, and we just love you so much. We want to spend time with you today because mm-hmm. it's you know Mother's Day, and they they love that. And guys are like. That's cool, but let me know you're around. And then on this day, leave me alone. Let me go do my own thing. You know what I mean? Boy, you hit it on the head. <laughs> hit it on the head. No, but but here, here's what I say when I talk about relationships. The reason I put everything up front so we don't waste the time. That's first and foremost. So we don't waste each other's time. Thing number two, the older you get, you, you have more of a conscious idea of what you want in a spouse or as a person. So you don't so you don't want to play the games and get around to it. The thing is, is see, again, he had he been married so long, which is a which is a beautiful thing, mm-hmm. because nowadays rela- relationships are instantaneous, uh thirty days to three months at top. Marriages, if you're lucky enough to get one, is three to five years. Because that's people have been psychologically conditioned to think that. It's not the commitment part of it. The, it's only committed as long as it's good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, I, I, that's what I say. You can't. You, it's, it's a person to person basis, though. Really, man. You know what? Well, that's why I like what we were talking about earlier, though. You be honest up front about things, so you can just. So, so I, as a man, I can't say that, that I don't like this about a woman personally. So therefore, no, that's not something it. I choose to do with. But a woman can tell a man, "Hey, you ain't over six foot. You don't make a hundred thousand. You mm-hmm. don't meet my criteria." Yeah, and it's accepted. But well, if she ain't got a cute face and a big butt, uh, uh-uh, that's wrong. So that's should, what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. The oh, people so will be like, "Yo, you're so wrong for that." So now, so now, you're but you're not though. You're but not you're wrong not. for that. But that's my point. As you're a man, not. if I state how I feel or what I want, it's considered wrong. But a woman can look at me all day and go, "Man, well, I'm over six foot and all that." But oh, you ain't making a hundred thousand plus a year, so you know you don't fit. Ninety percent of women want ten percent of men. That's you too worried about what somebody else thinks. That's the woman. Huh? She the woman. Hold on, watch this mic. We we as men, you know, that, that's how women think. Okay, I'm not a woman, so I don't. See, yeah. I'm going to kick Mike out of this damn conversation. <laughs> I mean, I'm just telling you. Because he's married. See, a, mar- a man who's been married you. over 20 years can't, can't I mean, sit there and have this discussion. You know why? Because you ain't out there but no look, more, bro. But look, if we're talking about relationships. You can tell right? me how to maintain it. Huh? Yeah, exactly. But you can't tell me how to get in that motherfucker right now. Huh? Well, it's. If you had one and you got into one, you would be in the situation I'm in. Hold on, watch this. I can honestly be in a, <laughs> right? in a, in a, in a, in a relationship every day of the week, but like any this. time. It's just that I'm so I'm particular about what I want. Just like so women pro, don't prove me wrong by staying in one. I'm in one now. I keep messing my mic up. I'm gonna mess around and be nah, married by the, the end of the summer. Oh. I'm gonna mess around and be married by the end of the summer. I'm in one now. But my point is, is I'm telling the young cats right now. Well, you prove us right by what you say by staying in it. 
But how? Watch it. Ain't about but if you. I ain't get what I'm, what I, if I ain't getting what I need out of it, am I supposed to stay? Mm-hmm. Do you want a relationship? Relationships. If you want a relationship, you need to do what the relationship. Costs. Put it like this: You want to play? You want to be in the NFL, right? I got to do what it takes to stay. You got to do what it takes to stay in. It. Here's the question: Eventually, it's gonna die out. You ain't gonna get paid. Whatever you gonna get old. Yeah. But now I'm still committed to the game, and I love it. Yeah, exactly. It's a game. See. You okay, we talk about game. football. This is, don't this is real life. Hold on, we talk. See, I was using this. Huh? Okay, watch this. My relationship, I'm 100 percent committed to. Period. Point blank. What I'm saying is this: the other person has to have the same kind of commitment. But we also, have, before we can even have that 100 percent commitment and be on that, we have to have the discussion of what we expect from it. And if right out of the gate in the beginning, we both say, "Hey, you know what? You don't meet, even though I may like you, I can tell because of what." How we how we deal with things, it isn't gonna work. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. No, nah, for sure. You got to find somebody that that both of y'all are gonna have the same level of but commitment. Of- I think, man, what Mike is saying too, though, is like later on, though, like if you're not with somebody and you stay single over a certain amount of time, then you kind of got to look at at what your criteria is, mm-hmm. you know. And then you're like, huh? Pe- people change, time changes. Your opinion's gonna change. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah, because I accept a lot more bullshit now than I, than I ever did before. Exactly. But guess what? Certain things I'm not going to. You got to have some, like you said, you got to have some things that are just, these are things I will not compromise. So if mm-hmm. I know out the gate. But what is it that you're not compromising? You just compromise because she says you don't need a man and you're a man, so you don't want to be with her. Hold on, hold on. That, that's one of the things that a woman can say to me in the beginning that will completely turn me off. Because I'm never going to say that. And, and it, I mean, hold on, it's not wrong. It's not saying that she's wrong because she's right. Because that's how she feels. I'm not going to invalidate the fact that she feels like she doesn't need a man. Mm-hmm. I respect that. But just respect the fact that th- when you say that to me, that's not some that's some, not, not something I'm comfortable with. Yeah. So therefore, hey, I appreciate it. But this, I, is, this that, is the point that I'm going to get to that I'm trying to say. This is the point where you are uncomfortable. Right, this is this you, right? That's right. So when you run around, you say, "Oh, it's a God on show." No, that's your opinion. Hold on, everybody else is different. All of us in this room different. Got different opinions. I've been married. He's fit to get married. You've been divorced. He's been, you know. But that's we've what I'm all, saying. We're all at different levels. What works for me don't work for me. Don't work for you. And don't work for him. Mm-hmm. What works for I'm me, in a special you. situation. You know what I'm saying? Watch this, yeah. my girl, right now. Watch this. Trust me. You watching? Great woman. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be married by the end of the summer. Point mm-hmm. blank. When we talk about things you won't compromise and bend on, babe, you know, like the little thing the other day. I don't mind sharing my life because you know what? I don't have nothing to hide. We had a little little difference of opinion about things. The old me, and you know me well enough to know, I can change it like socks. You know that? No. I'm, we still here, regardless, because that's something that we're going to talk about, work through. That's the commitment part. Mm-hmm. Now, I do believe like that now, if, the, if the same thing keeps happening after, I've, after we've had a discussion about how it makes me feel or how it makes you feel, if I keep displaying a, disp- a behavior that hurts or bothers you and you've expressed that to me and I keep doing it, that means I, that means I have lack of respect. You know what I mean? Because I'm not willing to correct that behavior that bothers you, mm-hmm. and vice versa. If you're not willing to correct it and it bothers me, then we then that means. Mm-mm. But we had to talk about it. What are you willing to correct? And that was the point. I'm willing. I, I'm willing to correct that thing that bothered her, and she's willing to correct that thing that bothered me. We had the discussion. We're gonna do that. Here's the kicker. But if she don't need a man. No, she. You know what? That's the one thing about her. She's never. She's never. We've. She's never said I don't need a man. This, that, and the other. As a matter of fact, she's like me. You know what? We want to be together. And the fact that I want to be with her and she wants to be with me. Guess what? And and babe, you looking at and Mike and I'm probably gonna be laughing because they know how they know me and they know how I usually be. And this, that, and the other. And I and I, you know, I swore I'd never get married again after after my ex wife, because I was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, that was just too much. But with her. All I think, like every decision I make, 
she's the, she's in that thought process. Like mm -hmm. anything I do, like I'm never gonna do anything that's gonna disrespect her or put her in a bad light, just in general. And then, even when things come along, I'm thinking about how is this going to better us, not just me, but us. Okay, if an opportunity comes along, I don't. The, the old me would have just done it or whatever, without or push it away without even consulting. But I, somebody comes to me with opportunity. I think about it. Let me, I got to talk to my girl. Because I want to know how she feels and what she thinks. And how is it going to affect her? I, I, I have not thought about how anything I do in life affects anybody outside of my children. Honestly. In what? 10, mm -hmm. 15 years? Because mm -hmm. normally, up until now with her, I have never really cared about how, what, I mean, I could, you know, we're going to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, babe, mm -hmm. this is before you because you know this. <laughs> but he knows this from experience, especially when we live in here. Man, you don't know, man, who, it should be a joke with him. Who you going out with now? Mm -hmm. and, and we ain't talking like weekly. It was every other day, right? Mm -hmm. Who you going out with today? Who? And I could care less if they get mad and get gone, could I? Mm -hmm. So everybody who was pre my girl now, yeah, get mad because it's true. I could care less. And then y'all know it. But my girl now, I'm telling you, every decision I make is with the thought of her involved in it, how it affects her. And I won't even make it until I have it with her, which is, and I'm going to be honest as a man, me being who I am, it's kind of scary. Cause yeah. I'm going, cause I'm going, you know, normally I just wake up and think about me. My kids are grown. I think about them, but they grown. They got their own life. But now it's, man, you know, if I do this, I can't do this. Cause I got to talk to her. I, I got to see how she feel about this. Okay. This is coming along. What's that going to do for us? Woo. It's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. It's scary, but it's invigorating. And when I say scary, it's just that I'm finally going, man, you know what? I found somebody who mean more than me to me, in a sense. You know what I mean? Now this, I'm I'm pissed off at Michael right now. Hey, <laughs> no offense, I'm pissed off at this dude right now. <laughs> Any dude been married 20 years who don't understand the dating pool now, don't have a right to speak on this. He can tell y'all how to stay together. My, Sean. I can tell you how to grab one too, because I got one. <laughs> Sean, Sean, all y'all. Sean Phillips and Clarence and all you guys who, listen to this, who just got married, he can tell y'all how to stay together. I swear to God. But to stay together, you got to find one first, right? All so right. I'm good at that, too. Here we go. I ain't going to get into uh -huh. it. He fell in love with the first one. I'm going to leave uh -huh. that alone. <laughs> yeah, right. Me, me and D, we different. See, he newlywed. So guess what? Sound like a bunch of quitters. He, had, he had to see what I mean. <laughs> I, I tell you, man, this dude. He, this is why you go to people church. that run from their problems. You want to know somebody who runs from their problems? Look at these two. <laughs> no, he don't, he he ain't uh -huh. running no more. He all nah, you want to see people who uh, ain't afraid of change. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, look at these uh, two. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. I change a lot. <laughs> hey, uh -huh. you know what happened? Okay. He got stagnant. Don't let him fool you. Nah. <laughs> he got used to the routine. Uh -huh. nah, I'm just kidding. Becca, I'm just playing. He loves you to death. Oh, I love yeah. you to death. Don't shoot me. She's gonna find out. I, Becca, I'm just playing. Uh -huh. But this is he can tell you how to maintain and stay in a relationship. No, no joke. He's in a he's second go round like I'm gonna be by the end of the summer, God willing. So he can tell you things that I can't tell you. I can tell you from a, from a man's perspective who new to it to, to the to the love Jones. Whoo! Don't be scared. Take the leap. Mm. But all that old bullshit Michael just said <laughs> about being scared because she says she don't need a man. Hey man, look here. What sound like to me? I'm on Kevin Samuel's demon time. But you can't tell me how I feel. Hmm? I See, that's the thing. I didn't tell him how he felt. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. D going to tell you before we, we go. We're going to have to pause and restart. Pause, restart your shit, but I'm going to tell you the yeah. truth. Yeah, hold on. I'd never say it. <laughs> I'm pissed off.